Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today I've got a really quick and easy project for you. The best part about this project is that it is super rewarding because you end up with a super cute finish, but it is very easy. Um, this is a very beginning friendly pattern. Uh, not, it's not a pattern. We're going to be self drafting a skirt is what we're going to be doing because I wanted to show you just how easy it is to sew your own um, garment. And um, this is going to be a very entry level sew, which is great because it can be done with just a sewing machine. You can even hand stitch this project, honestly. Um, it can get you your foot in the door to get started sewing. Um, and it's just rewarding because it usually ends up looking super cute. I think you're gonna love it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is some fabric. Now you can use stretch fabric or you can use non-stretch fabric. This is a non-stretch fabric. I got this fabric from Joann's, but you can even use like old sheets or something like that if you just wanted to give it a try and see if you even if this is even something you want to create um, you want something that's lightweight because we're going to be creating a gathered weights waist skirt so you want something that flows nicely now the really cool thing about this is that you don't really need a pattern I'm gonna tell you how you're going to figure out how to make it and also you don't really need like a zipper or buttons we're going to use elastic now I got this elastic from um, just a local uh, sewing um, store um, so this is just like a this is a two inch wide elastic but you just need some elastic that is going to be your essential essentially your waistband um, and the fabric and really that's it. Now you need a sewing machine, we're going to be using a sewing machine or you can like I said hand stitch this project and that will be, work just fine. You also need something to measure your waist and your length with um, and if you don't have a measuring tape that's fine. I didn't have a measuring tape when I first started. You can just use cording or something because we're just going to take it and like double the size so that's all you really need. Now. With this um, option that we're making today, you could make a mini skirt, you can make a knee length skirt, you can make any length skirt you want, and you can use, you can make like one layer or you can make different layers. And I know that's really different tiers. That's really in style right now, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, two, I'm thinking two tiers, and I'm going to do like a medium length. So the first tier is gonna go like, a couple of inches above my knee and then I'm gonna do another big tier that will go and end up like a medium length tier. Now if I wanted to make it a maxi, we could do three tiers and that's up to you and I'm gonna also show you and tell you how you can do that. I also, I'm gonna tell you how you can add pockets because everybody loves to have pockets. Um, so you can add pockets to this as well. Like I said, you can use a non-stretch fabric or you can use a stretch fabric, it's up to you. It's just um, sewing with stretch fabric can be a little bit more difficult and you usually use a stretch stitch with a stretch fabric. Though because this is going to be a pattern that you're stretching out, uh, that you're using elastic to stretch out. You don't really need a stretch stitch. You can just use your regular sewing machine. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how we're going to cut our fabric. So this is when your measuring tape or any kind of measuring tool comes in handy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my measuring tape and I'm going to measure my where I want my skirt to sit. So uh, right here is where I usually like my skirt to sit or if you want it a little bit higher, wherever you want. And you're going to write that measurement down. And then um, to create the skirt, I'm gonna write it down before I forget. Now for the width of the skirt, I usually like to go with one and a half the width of my waist uh, because we're gonna, this is gonna, the elastic is gonna come in play and that's gonna stretch out. It doesn't have to be super wide. The only thing is, it depends on how many, how gathered you want it. The more gathered you want, the bigger of a piece you want to cut out. So if you wanted it like super gathered, like tons of, of like very ruffled, um, you would want to go like a two and two and a little bit. Um, if you wanted less gathers, one and a half. I usually like to do one and a half for the first tier. And then for the second tier, I usually go two. So I'll cut one and a half for the first tier and then two times the size for my second tier. So that way it, it's a little bit more gathered. 
All right, so this is how it goes. For a measurement for my waist, I measured a 34. And so I'm going to add half of that, which is 17, again to it to um, have one and a half. So that's gonna be 51. So we're gonna cut that first panel, I'm going to do 51. Now you can um, do half, so it would be like 26 and a half and 26 and a half, so you have two panels. So you have those seams on the sides where you're gonna attach pockets. You also wanna have your seam allowance. So instead of doing 25 and a half and 25 and a half, I'm going to do 26 and 26. That way I have that half inch seam allowance on the sides for sewing. So with my measurements, I'm cutting two panels that are 26 and 26 of the width. And then the length, I'm going to grab my measuring tape and I'm gonna measure from where I want my skirt to hit to where I want that first tier or where I want my skirt to go. And that's about, I'm gonna say about 15 inches. And then I'm going to add seam allowance. I gotta add seam allowance for the top where it's gonna to attach to my elastic and seam allowance for the bottom where either I'm going to hem or attach it to my next tier. So if I said 15, I'm gonna add about an inch of seam allowance to that. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be 16 inches. So it will be 26 by 16 is what I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna cut two panels of that. Now for the second tier, like I said, I wanted to uh, double my measurement. So instead of being 34 times 0.5, we're gonna do 34 times two, which would be 68. So the next panel I'm gonna cut 68 wide, which you can split it in two, so 34 and 34, or you can do one if you have one big piece, you can do that as well. And then you're gonna measure how long you want that second tier. So starting where that first tier ended, and we're gonna go down, and that's about, I'm just gonna say like 11 inches because I want it to be like midi length and I'm taller. So let's say 11 inches plus the one inch seam allowance again. Um, so that's 12 inches. So the second one is going to be, what did I say? What did I say, 34? No. Yeah, 34 is half, so double that, yeah. So 34 by 12, and I'm gonna make two of those for the bottom tier. Okay, now if you wanted to have more tiers, you can keep adding that. You can add another half uh, to make it wider uh, and do another tier, or you can make it longer, shorter. If you wanted just a straight skirt, you can go all the way to maxi. It's up to you. That changes with what you wanna do. Now for the elastic for the waist, what you wanna do with that is you wanna go ahead and grab your, now for the waist, you want it to come in. You don't want it to fall off. So instead of adding anything to it, we're gonna subtract three inches off of our waist. So if it was, like mine was 34, I'm gonna go with 31, but then I need a little bit of seam allowance because we're gonna have to sew this together. So I wanna do 31.5. So that way I have my seam allowance to be able to overlap 0.5 inches and it's not gonna be too tight. And that you kinda, kinda play around with it, how tight you want it to be, if you want it to be loose or tighter, whatever you wanna do. Now. For our pockets, because we want to self-draft some pockets. I am finding a piece of paper that is on the ground. And what I'm going to do is, this is going to be my skirt. I'm going to grab my hand and I'm going to place my hand right on my uh, piece of paper. And I'm going to just outline my hand. Kind of like give it a little bit of, of, a, of a passage right here. And that is how big I want my pocket. Now I have a big hand, so you can like if you have a little hand or whatever, you can put your phone in there, make sure your phone fits, whatever you wanna put in there. And then you're gonna cut out this piece right here, and that is going to be your pocket piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just like a teardrop shape that like follows your hand. That is your pattern piece for your pocket. Here it is. So we're gonna cut out, if you want one pocket, you need to cut out two of these. If you want two pockets, you need to cut out four of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm gonna cut the, the skirt at the sizes that we've mentioned, the elastic and the pockets, and then we're gonna talk about how we're gonna put it all together. I'm only gonna do one pocket though, so um, I don't like two pockets. I usually like just one pocket. Is that weird? Do you like both pockets or do you just like one pocket or do you like no pockets? Let me know below.
All right, so now that it's cut, we're going to grab our two fronts and we're going to first attach our pockets. So we're gonna do, because it's just one rectangle, well, two rectangles, we're just gonna lay it face up and we're gonna grab our pocket and we're gonna place it face down right on top of it. I like to do about two to three inches from the top because I wanted to like, not, I don't want my pocket up here, I want my pocket lower. So you can kind of eyeball whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna do two inches down from the top and I'm matching the right side of the pocket with the right side of the skirt. And it's gonna be on, if you're doing two pockets, you're gonna have one on this side and one on this side. So I'm only gonna do one pocket, I'm gonna have one on this side only, but you need the front and the back. So here's the one for this side. Then I'm gonna grab the other piece, the one that's gonna go right in front, place it like right on top, right sides together, but I'm gonna place the pocket on the right side of the other skirt panel. Two inches, so like it has to be the same. So that way, once it's sewn, I'm gonna show you so you can really see it. Once that's sewn right there, you're gonna open it up. See, it's gonna be the pocket right there. This one's gonna be sewn, you're gonna open it up so they have to match up. Because then you're gonna sew them around to, make, to, to turn that into a pocket. So I'm gonna go sew that up, these together, by just doing a straight stitch, sewing that in a straight stitch on both. Just stay in your seam allowance. All right, I wanted to bring you over here so you could really see where I stitched it up. Now you can steam that seam out and do like a top stitch here if you want that pocket to lay really, really flat. Um, but you know, it's, you can, you don't have to. If you're having a hard time, you wanna steam it really nicely. That's what's gonna help you have a really good shape. Once that's done, I'm gonna grab the both, both of the sides. So you can remember, one, we put a pocket on each side. And then we're going to sew up that side seam. So if you have a pocket, you're gonna go down the two inches that you left at the top and go all the way around the pocket, matching both pockets together, all the way around. And then down the side, right here, the rest of the skirt. And then, um, so that's if you have a pocket. Now, if you don't have a pocket, you're just gonna go straight. And I'm gonna show you that on the other side where I didn't do a pocket. Right sides together and you're just gonna go straight down. Okay, and we're gonna sew that on both sides. I'm gonna sew with my sewing machine first and then I'm gonna finish it with a serger or you can finish it with a zigzag stitch. Finishing it so that your fabric won't fray after wearing it for a while. But while we're over there at the same time, I'm gonna grab my three panels. Remember we made three panels for the second one and we're going to start attaching those um, side seams. So lay one out and put the other one right on top of it. We're gonna sew them right sides together again. And then at the end of that layer, we're gonna attach the other one. And like I said, if you wanna do this hand stitching, you can do this with a hand stitching as well. Um, and it would be, it will work just fine. It's actually kind of soothing to do hand stitching. Let me know below what you like to do. And then the last one, we've got the, the, this one right here and then the first one. So it's gonna become one big loop. Let's go sew them up. If you're wondering, all I'm doing is using a regular straight stitch on my machine. It's just the simplest basic stitch on my machine. Um, the length is a 2.5 I'm on it um, and that's all I'm doing with it. All right, so as you can see, I have two tiers. I have this right here, which is my first one with my pocket, and then here's my second one. You could have just one short one, one long one, two, three, four, whatever you wanna add to it. Um, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna gather the top because we're going to fit it to our elastic. You see that? It's gonna make sure we're gonna um, attach it to our elastic. That's gonna be our waistband. Um, so what I like to do before I gather is I'm going to match those sides and mark my front and back because then that's gonna make it easier once I'm going to attach it to know which one's my front and back. That way I can, I know that where I made those marks, so I just clipped a little bit, that's gonna be right at the center and this is gonna gather this way and this is gonna gather that way 
and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna do the same for the bottom because when I go to attach my, my bottom tier, I also wanna make sure I know exactly where my halves are. And then uh, I'm gonna put in a gathering stitch at the top of my bottom tier as well. Now we do have videos on here and I'm gonna mark my bottom tier as well, like my halves and whatnot. Um, so that way I have it all situated there as well. Uh, we do have videos on, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you, we have videos in this channel about how to gather, tips and tricks of sewing. We have a, we actually have a, um, uh, what is the word uh, that I'm looking for? Like we have uh, sets where we have like learning to sew videos. So if you wanna go check those out, um, there's so many like tips and tricks on there um, about like different, um, just tips and tricks about learning to sew. So yeah, go check that out. All right, like I mentioned, there's different ty types of gathering stitches to gather in methods. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a really long straight stitch on my sewing machine. So I'm going for the longest length and that's all I'm doing all the way around. While I'm here, I'm gonna change my stitch to a zigzag stitch and I'm going to overlap this elastic and zigzag stitch it together. I used a zigzag stitch in the same color thread because you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna leave this elastic exposed. So that this is gonna be my waistband. So you could use any cute elastic or anything like that, but I want it to be something that you can barely see. All right, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna mark my elastic as well, my front, my back, and then my side, so I know exactly where I'm going to place this skirt. Now, like I said, I'm leaving this exposed elastic. If you didn't want an exposed elastic, you could add extra length to your skirt, and you would attach the elastic to the top of the skirt, and then you would fold it over and encase that elastic in your skirt. I am not doing that, um, but you could do that. What I'm doing is I'm going to gather my skirt top to fit my elastic. So I'm pulling on my bobbin thread to gather my skirt. Okay, once it's all gathered, you wanna even up those gathers so that it's nice and even all the way around. And then I'm going to fit in that elastic because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it from the top, zigzag stitch that elast that that um, skirt to the elastic. So make sure that your back is on the back. And we're going to where are my quarters? Find the quarters on your skirt. Here's my one side. Where is my middle? Here it is. Here's my other side. And then my last. So now you wanna make sure that it fits in here so that your gathers are all even and you're going to be sewing the skirt to the elastic waistband. As you can see, it's right there, right sides together, so the right side of the skirt. So this is what the waistband is going to look like right there, and that's going to be attached. So I'm gonna go with a zigzag stitch and attach it all the way around. And then after I'm done with that, then we'll just attach our other layer by grabbing our skirt. And I'm gonna do it right now because I have pins and I can do it, but you can do one at a time as well if you want. You can attach one layer and then come back and attach the other layer if I can turn it around right side out. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and gather it, gather my skirt, this bottom tier. I'm gonna gather it the width of this top tier like I did that first one. All right, now that is the same width, we're gonna make sure, like I said, all your gathers are even. You don't want uneven gathers because you'll have like, your skirt just won't look right. So you want to move them around so that they're even. 
and then I'm gonna attach it to the skirt right sides together. So I'm gonna attach it at those points that I marked earlier. And now I'm just gonna clip them so that I can sew them together at the same time. All right, now we're gonna go sew both the waistband and this right here, and then we'll just have to hem by folding quarter inch and then another quarter inch in top stitching. So I'll do that at the end and we'll be done. All right, so you technically you usually stitch it with the fabric face up, but because I'm stitching it to the band, I kinda wanna make sure that I'm grabbing it correctly so that's why I'm doing it with a fabric up, so that way I can see it. All right, so that's on. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom. I'm just gonna go to a regular stitch, straight stitch. And I can finish that raw edge later. I ran out of thread, let's get some more. The last step is the hem, like I said, quarter inch and then another quarter inch. All right, friends, we are done with this cute skirt. I love how it turned out. I think it turned out great. I love the pocket. Look at this, I love that. I am pairing it today with the everyday tee. Um, I love this pairing, but I do wanna come by and do a self-drafted top, but wants to say hello. I like a tube top with little ties on it. I think it would look so incredibly cute with this uh, skirt. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you like this skirt. Please let me know below if you're planning to make it. Let me know if you have any questions. I just wanna encourage you um, and let you know that if you if sewing is something that you want to do you can totally do it check out our videos they're very helpful both things you can do it um right yay he says yes you can do it um i hope you have a great rest of your day bo and i say goodbye and i'll see you next time bye